What's up everyone, Fortnite boy back with a brand new video, and today we're going to be doing the Ghost House tutorial part 2, so without further ado, let's get started. And for this tutorial, you're going to be doing the like interior of it, except we're not doing props quite yet, just the interior design. And let's get started. So you're going to need to go to the power plant floor gallery, so you're going to find it under the power plant, obviously, right here. Go to the power plant gallery actually and you're gonna find this floor right here also known as the john jones floor save that to your hotbar and you're just gonna place it i'm gonna use building the prop off for this though you're gonna place it right in the front here so like in this little front section you're just gonna place three of the john jones floors then you can go ahead and go into the agency gallery and you're gonna grab this little white archway here and you're just going to take that and place it right on either side of the door. So on either side like this. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and go into the agency floor gallery and grab this floor used in the technology room. And you're going to want to make sure that you have building the prop on for this. So let me just go and turn on building the prop. And let me go inside here. And you're going to want to resize on the depth access first until it's half a block, so like this. And you're going to place it right here. Uh, before you do that, raise the height on it by one, and then you can place it down. All right, so then once you've done that, you can take the same piece, except you want to go and change the width on it to one-fourth of a block now and place it down like that on this block here. And then do that for the other side as well, so like that. And then take this piece again and place it like that. Then you can go ahead and fill in any necessary pieces of these. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and take this piece over here again and place it just like that. Once you've done that, you can go to the agency wall gallery C and grab the wall with, it has one side is white and the other side is blue which is this wall right here so right here behind this wall you're gonna find this wall and i'm gonna copy that a lot of this walls <laughs> and you're gonna place it with the white side facing like the main entryway so i messed that up let me just fix that like that and then you're gonna want to do the same thing over here like that and perfect once you've done that, you're going to go back into the agency gallery, except you're going to go to the agency wall gallery white. And you're going to find um, a piece that looks like this. The brick on one side and the blue on the other. And you're going to place that right here. Just like that. And then you're done with that. Perfect. Alright, so now, once you've done that, the next thing you can do... I really want this floor to load in. My god. Okay, there we go. Now I can place it. Alright. So, once you've done that, you can copy these archways once again and place them here. And place another one right there. And then copy this floor and place it here. Like that. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and go back into the agency wall gallery C and grab the double sided white door. We just go back to my agency wall gallery C doo -doo -doo -doo. and grab this double sided white door here and go ahead and place that in your ghost house right right here so like that all right once you've done that you can go back into the agency floor and stair gallery and you're going to want to grab these stairs and you're going to make sure you have building to prop on for this because we're going to do some resizing tricks with them. Alright, so once you have your stairs, you can go ahead and make sure that you have your grit snap off and then resize, not the width for it, oh my gosh. That you're going to want to resize the depth on it until you fade, until like the way that you walk up is facing the other side so you know what I mean is like instead of it facing this way 
it's gonna face the other way now. So make sure it's facing this way that I have on screen. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and place it. I recommend turning building the prop off, placing it down, and then just placing it like that. If you notice that it's too small, turn building the prop back on, and then resize the width on it by once, and then just place it somewhere random, then turn building the prop back off, escape, and then it'll line up perfectly. Just like that. And there you have it. All right, so once you've done that, you're gonna take this piece here and you're gonna place it like this, making sure it has brick on both sides like that. Cause this room also has a brick wall and so does this room here. And, <clears throat> and then you're gonna, once you've done that, you can go back into your agency wall gallery and find this wall right here. And you're just gonna paste that right here with the brick facing inside on this room. So like that. And then you continue the same trend for that side. And then also do that for right here. And right, right there. All right gonna place and then you want to place your John Jones floor right here and then continue your John Jones floor all throughout this area so all the way down here 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 and here just like that all right once you've done that you can go ahead and go into the agency wall gallery C and you're gonna go ahead and grab this piece here it's got white on one side and blue on the other, so right here. Copy that, and you're gonna place it inside of your ghost house with the white facing this way, pretty straightforward. And then you can actually take this piece from the agency wall, or floor gallery and place it right inside of this room like that. And take this again and you guessed it, we're gonna place it right here, just like that. And then you can take your John Jones floor and place it right under the stairs, just like that. And then you're gonna make sure that you have the, this here, except, and then it's looking just like this with the brick on the bottom and then the white on the top, like that. All right, then once you've done that, you can go ahead and take this door from over here and you're gonna place it just like that right there. All right, perfect. Then once you've done that, you can take your John Jones floor again, you guessed it, and go here just like that. And then take this door and go here and here. And then once you've done that, you can copy this wall here and go like that. And then you can go ahead and take this archway from earlier, but make sure to do the double white one, and place it right here. And also right here, as well as right here. Just like that. All right, you can also place one right here as well. And you can take your John Jones floor and place it in this room right here. And then delete this wall and make an opening for a vent room. So go and grab the nearest vent that you can find. And you're gonna make sure that the vent is facing this way like this. All right, once you've done that, you can go ahead and go into this room and take your John Jones floor and go like this. And then take your archway here and place it in the middle like that. <laughs> All right, then once that's done, you can go ahead and move on to this area over here. And this area is going to just be pretty open Besides, there's gonna be like a few vents and walls and you know, stuff. So this area actually has all this brick here. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that all this bottom layer here is brick. Besides these two walls here, they are not gonna be brick. I'm gonna grab my vent. And you're gonna make sure it's facing this way in the middle of these walls like that. And then facing just like that, like that. And there you go. 
And once you've done that, you can take this wall right here and place it just like that. You can take your archway again, and you're gonna place it right here, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Go ahead and take the agency stairs, and this time, um, you can just go and grab the regular agency stairs from the floor and stair gallery. And it's just gonna face this way, like that. Your stairs are gonna be facing that way, so you don't need to do resizing or anything. Just like that, and then you're gonna go up another level like that and then boom open up the shark wall gallery and you're gonna see this white vent here just save it to your hotbar and place it right there like that and then we're gonna have to overlay walls to get this to fit the right texture in with the white perfect all right so once you've done that, you can go up to this second level here and copy your John Jones floor and place it here. And then just don't place it there. And then once you've done that, you're gonna need to go into the agency prefab. I know it sounds weird, but you need to go into the agency prefab and find this piece right here, this little guy right here, and place it down right here. This is important, so watch yeah, where you need to place it. Just like that, all right? And then you're gonna go ahead and copy this balcony piece from out here, and you're gonna place it just like this, here and here, just like that, all right? Perfect. All right, and once you've done that, you can go ahead and take your John Jones floor. Make sure you're building the prop on for this. And you can resize your John Jones floor uh, by the depth access. And then make sure to raise your, the height by one so it fits on there. And then you can do the same over here, just like that. All right, and the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this piece or this door down here, making sure that you're building the prop on. And you're gonna paste that right up here and make sure you have grid snap four on as well. So grid set four, and you're gonna place it just like that. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and take this door again and place it right over here like that. Oh, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you have it over here, my bad. Scooch it over once more if yeah. All right, that was in my, yeah, so it's like this now. But you're gonna wanna go and look for this wall in the shark gallery. This wall here, you're gonna take this bathroom wall and you're just gonna resize the depth on it to make it all the way for the depth all the way down and you're gonna turn on grid snap 32 and you're gonna overlay the walls on like all sides so trying to make sure to align it as best as you can you can go into the shark gallery and make sure that you have the wall that is this right here, this wall with the white background like this. Copy that, and then it's simple as having grid snap two on and placing it just like this, like that. So here, and then here with the bathroom wall facing on the inside of the bathroom. So let me just fix that real quick. All right, so like this. And there you have your bathroom mostly done. And then you can just copy the um, shrunken down wall here. Well, the depth shrunken down wall. And then make sure that you turn on resize access width. And shrink it down until around there and just place it like that. And then you can do this if you would like, but just notice that it's going to stick out of the top of your ghost house. You might want to take this wall from the agency wall gallery C. It's a double-sided wall, it's like the double white wall. Resize the width on this wall until it fits the width of this little area here. So like that, I'm just gonna place it in like that and make sure it's not sticking out. All right, then you guys have that done now. And that is your workout room. This is gonna be the workout room. And yeah, there you go, that's done. Oh, and by the way, in the last tutorial, I believe that I had this a little bit goofed up so instead of um having the event um facing this way here you know what i mean it was like this 
but it was like this way facing like that you're just going to place this window here instead and then move the vent over to this place and then you can also scooch this one that we placed here over to like the edge using grid snap 4 and then do the same over here except to place it next to the vent instead of on the vent all right just wanted to point that out all right so once we've once you've done that we are gonna move on to the next level of your ghost house and for this it's pretty easy just go ahead and take this floor and place it like that like that and then one more thing up here before we move on is you're gonna want to go ahead and take this piece this little archway and you're gonna place it in a couple of spots here one here um and over here And then you can do the same for up here as well. You're just going to place one right there like that. All right. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and take this piece here and place it like that. And then go over to this area and take this. And you're just going to place it just like that. And then you can take your archway here and place it like that. Pretty, pretty easy. All right. There we go. Alright, and then once you've done that, you can go ahead and go into this room here and take this floor and place it in here. And then go ahead and grab your wall. Make sure you have building to prop on for this. And then resize on the width axis until it's like about the size that it can kind of sneak into this area here like this. Okay, well that's obviously way too much for it anyway. All right. So it can sneak into this little area like that and then same thing over here. I mean, you should use like grid snap 13 or 16 for this. There's not even a grid snap 13, oh my gosh. And yeah, just place it like that as best you can if you wanna. It may be showing through like this, so simply you can fix that by resizing the depth by one and then placing it again like that. And then doing the same for the other side here. All right. And again, the same thing. If you want to do this, you can. But remember, it's going to be sticking out at the top. So it's completely up to you if you want to do this or not. All right. One more thing before we go ahead and move on to the next thing. So you're going to want to make sure that you have... Um, you place these on the same grid snap because what we're going to be doing next um, It's not going to really work that well for not placed on the gray same grid snap So you're just going to want to go ahead and place them All on the same grid snap here, and then also you can just place the door back on 16 All right, and then you can select everything here Don't do the default dance And you can go ahead and turn building the prop off copy it and paste it over here and make sure that it's facing or the brick is facing towards the this other room like that and perfect you can place it down just like that and then I probably should have saved to my hot bar and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here and I'm making sure that the white is facing inside it doesn't really matter because you're just going to have to overlay another piece anyways. So yeah, just like that. And then do the same thing for this room here. And then once you've done that, you're going to need to take and take it and place the brick on the other side. So just make sure you select it all and then make sure you have building the prop off. And then you can simply just place it on the other side of the door. Just like this. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. There you have that now. Oh, and then make sure you actually have the right door or wall here. I don't know how that got mixed up, but let me just go ahead and fix that real quick. Making sure that I have the right brick wall here, just like that. All right, everyone. That is going to conclude this tutorial for the interior design of your little um ghost house here i hope you guys enjoyed oh wait 
before we end make sure you place this little archway there don't forget that and then also don't forget an archway here as well don't forget it that's going to be all for this video and the next tutorial is going to be all about props inside the ghost house and there's quite a lot it's going to be probably around a 40 to 50 minute tutorial um, of props inside of your ghost house and yeah guys that's going to be all for this video i hope you enjoyed and if anyone else is trying to build the ghost house make sure to share this with them share both tutorials of the ghost house with them and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out